Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going to be doing the My Life in Books tag. Okay, so I saw Oshina over on her channel do her books for My Life in Books tag. So I will link her channel down below, but I was like, I need to do this tag, so she tagged me in the comments. She was like, yeah, go for it. So I'm excited. I have all the questions in front of me and I have a few books next to me because they were in different rooms, but I tried not to look on my shelves right away, but I knew for a fact, I think I have only one book to fit this one prompt. So I had to grab it downstairs. Okay. The first question says, find a book for each of your initials. So mine are K, A, and C. So I had to run downstairs to get the K because I literally only had one book with the K. And it is Kindred by Octavia, Octavia E. Butler. And this is about a woman in modern times who ends up traveling between the past and present, trying to save one boy in the South during like the slavery times in California, I believe. Yeah, California. So she's going from nowadays where there's not really any danger, but she's going back then where there was a lot of danger for a black woman to be. So. I'm very excited to read this one. Everyone seems to love it. My friend sent me this. She was like, do you need to read it? Because I read it. And I was like, yes, please send it to me. So thank you, Bernadette, for sending this to me. So that's K. All right, for A, I glanced over here and I saw an A right away. So I'm just going to use that one. And it is the third book in the Divergent series, Allegiant by Veronica Roth. And I still have not read this series. I need to because I actually really did like the movies. Well, I watched the first two and a half. I never finished the third movie, but it got me interested enough to pick up the books. So this one, and it is a dystopian style world where they each have their own set of jobs and they take a, a an applicant test to see which job they're good for. But the main character, Prior, she ends up finding out that she's good for every job. And in this society, that's not good, and they can't find out that she's good for every job out there. So I'm excited to read this series. That's my A. And then a C. I think I saw a C behind me. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to move. We're going to have to move. Okay. <laughs> I saw a C just when I was glancing for a K. Where did you go? There it is. I knew I had it on this shelf. So this is Catching the Wind by Melanie Dobson. And this one is about Daniel Knight. He's had a question since he was 13 when he and 10-year-old Bridgie escaped the Gestapo agents who arrested both their parents. They survived a harrowing journey from, from Germany to England, only to be separated upon their arrival. So what happened to Brigitte, Brigitte Berthold? So this sounds good. I've had this one for ages and I need to read it. Okay. <laughs> I can sit back on my cushion. All right. Next question. Count your age along your bookshelf and talk about the book you land on. So I should put this one back because that's the shelf I'm going to be using. <laughs> All right. Since I'm closest to my Christian fiction self, I'm just going to count. I am 29. I don't look it. I don't sound it, but I am 29. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. It's a book that I read. <laughs> I'm like so excited that it's actually a book that I read. Cause I don't have that many on my bookshelf that I've actually read. So, To Love a Prince by Rachel Hawk. This is the first book in the Royal True Blue Royal series. I have read this one and the second one. Both are really really good, and that cover is gorgeous. So this is about Daffodil. She works for the royal family and kind of sets up all of the events throughout the year and stuff. And so she ends up taking a vacation to, I believe, California from her main country where she runs into an old friend and it's really good. It's really cute. I really enjoyed this series a lot. Okay. So what's the next question? So that was an easy answer. I actually read that one. Okay. The next one is share a book set in your country. Fairly easy. I live in the U.S., so that could be almost anything. But I'm going to pick one of my favorite books, 
which is Close to Famous by Joanne Bauer. Let's see where this one takes place. I can't remember. Um, it might be California. I don't live in California, but I think this one is set in California. But this is about Foster. She is dyslexic and has a hard time reading. So her and her mom end up going to a different town, and she loves to bake. So she ends up trying to bake her way into the townspeople's hearts, and there's an old grumpy lady who lives there, and she just helps her with her cooking and baking, and this lady really helps her with her challenges as well. So it's really cute. It's a middle grade. It's kind of an older middle grade age. Really, really enjoyed it. I love this one. Okay, next question. Share a book set somewhere you want to travel to. Okay. The book I would have chosen is downstairs. I just finished it. <laughs> I'm trying to pick books that, like, I've read. Hmm. I could choose that, but I want to choose someplace more exotic. Let's see. I don't know what to choose for this one. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the safe one. Because I can't figure out where I want to travel to. Well, I want to travel everywhere, so... Pretty much any book on my shelf would have worked, but I'm going to choose Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. I do want to go to England. It's not top, top priority, but ever since I found out that there is beautiful beach glass to be found in, in England or United Kingdom, I definitely, definitely want to go now. So I'm choosing Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. If you don't know about this book, it's all about Mary Poppins. She is a nanny to two children. She kind of flies in on the wind and flies back out when the wind changes. And um, she's kind of like, she's very strict as nannies should be and need to be, but she also has a fun side to her and brings these children on all of her fun adventures. So very cute. I read the first book so far. All right, let's see. Share a book that has your favorite color on it. So my favorite color is aqua. I love aqua or blue, pretty much any blue. It used to be green, but now it's aqua. Okay. Ooh, it is up here. I wasn't sure if it was up here or not. But this is definitely blue, aqua, beautiful colors. This is The Island of Sea Woman by Elisa C. Definitely aqua and beautiful. I have not read this yet. I'm going to read this in June, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm buddy reading it, so I'm trying to remember when it was. But it's all about these women who are pearl, dive or pearl divers, or they just dive. I think they... It doesn't say if they dive for pearls, but I do know they are an all-female diving team pretty much in the island of Jeju, and so the men stay at home to take care of the families, and I'm excited to read this one. So it says, um, they begin working in the sea with their village's all-female diving collective. Over many decades through the Japanese colonialism of the 1930s and 40s, World War II, the Korean War, and the era of cell phones and wetsuits for the women divers. So... I'm very excited to see what this is about. All right, so the next question is, share a book that you have the fondest memories reading. So I'm gonna share two, one from childhood. I had a hard time picking a book from childhood because I have so many favorites that I remember. But I decided to go with this one. And this is a book that I absolutely loved growing up. It is Chrysanthemum by Kevin, Kevin Hanks. And my aunt gave this to me when I was younger. I absolutely love this book. This is about a mouse whose name is Chrysanthemum. And she gets picked on because her name can't fit on a name tag. And it is too big and too long. And so she finds out um, just what her name really means to her. And how she's going to end up really liking her name. And it's just, it's so, so cute. And the illustrations are adorable. I need to reread this. And they are just so cute. Oh, I love these illustrations. Aren't they adorable? Those illustrations are so cute. I gotta find out the illustrator. Let's see. I wonder if it's the, uh, if it's the author. Doesn't say. Why don't you say? <laughs> It could be the author because it doesn't say if there's an extra name. So Chrysanthemum, an adorable, adorable children's book. I love it so much. And then the other one that I have fond memories of reading is The Princess Bride, which is my 
favorite, favorite, favorite fiction book of all time. It's by William Goldman and I just love this book. I have fond memories of picking it up from my local library and reading it for the first time like honestly probably about 15 years ago now or more and I just loved this book so much and I have multiple copies of it <laughs> so it's literally one of the only ones that I have multiple copies of other than my bible and maybe maybe one or two other books but yes I have fond memories of reading this multiple times and I just love this book so much okay Next question, what book did you have the hardest time reading? That's hard, I don't know. I really don't know. Hardest time reading? I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I would say bigger books, but I have not gotten to any of my bigger books. I don't know. I don't know if I have a book that I have the hardest time reading. Wow. Hmm. If I did, I probably got rid of it. <laughs> I didn't keep it around. Hmm. You know what? I don't think I have one. I really don't think I have one. So, sorry about that. I guess I can't answer that question. <laughs> okay. So, the last one is what book on your TBR Will you feel the most accomplished when you read it? I would have said the Bible just because it's really long and I, but I accomplished that and read it last year and a bit of the year before. So I finished the entire Bible, um, a mostly chronological order, but I finished it in about a year and a half, maybe a little bit longer than that. So I'm happy to say that that is done. So what book would be, would be an accomplishment now? Hmm. I would say this one. This one. I really want to read this. Oh, it's huge. It is Jules Verne. It is seven novels in this, and this edition is stunning. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, and she was selling it for, like, I think $7? Something around there. But I was so happy to get this. I've been looking for it, and I love his movies. I love the movie editions of all of his books, so... I know I need and want to read this, but it's ginormous. And look at the print. Like, it's small print. So if I if I read this, it most likely be like a book a month, maybe. Maybe every few months. But yeah. Let me see how big the stories are. I know they're not super long. Okay, it looks like, let's see. It looks like the books are about 150 pages long, roughly. 150 to 175 pages long, so it's not too long, but this book is heavy, and, but yeah, it's gorgeous and stunning, and I will feel very accomplished if I ever read this. <laughs> so that was the last one for the questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.